this is Marcia. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. And we're going to be making a mug rug today and it's all about using up our stash. And my channel is about making handmade gifts, green crafting, using up your supplies without spending any money, and the handmade gift guide. So this is all in that series. We did a happy mail binder and paper crafting. Now we're going to be doing fabric crafting and hand sewing, machine sew showing, sewing, <laughs> and um, I'll show you both methods. So we're going to make step-by-step -step a mug rug all by hand, hand stitching. Then we'll do another tutorial and it will be a step-by-step -step all machine stitching and quilt as you go. So this is a new um, style for me as to quilt as you go. Usually you put the whole thing together, then you come back and you quilt it. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently with the hand stitching method than what will be done when we do the machine stitching method. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to thread my needle and I have this handy dandy needle threader. Where are we here? Okay, so this is, uh, I don't know if this is clover. Yes, this is clover. Clover, you just have to love clover. They make so many nice sewing gadgets. Okay, and there you go. Now you just pull the thread through and voila. So no more eye strain trying to get your thread through that little teeny tiny needle hole. And I don't always remember where I put the little handheld metal one, you know, those ones I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. Okay, dokie. So what we're doing is we're going to now hand stitch this block and I'm going to stitch this end and then I'll come back and stitch this end and so I'm going to show you first of all what I did okay let me just line this up here so these are four inches like I said I just have a pin I just pin it together so my two right sides are together and then what I'm using here is quarter inch tape and this is for quilters for hand stitching and I don't know if they have this in the UK other countries but they do have it here in the US and I get this at uh, the quilt stores and Joann's and probably uh, Michael's or Walmart might have it as well okay so then what you do is just you just put a piece down this side and a piece down this side and when you're cutting out your block which this is my handy dandy cereal box cardboard template that I made this morning. So four inch block is the size I'm using. You put your tape, lay your template down, put your tape all the way around the side of the template. Now you know your quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, then you cut out around this tape and that's how quick and easy you have your quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so now we're gonna come in here and I already put a knot in the end of the thread this is going to be a 30 minute video and if you like my video you like my channel you want to subscribe to my little crafting community then please hit the little subscribe button the little bell and give this video a thumbs up and that way I know that you want me to continue to make videos like this for you and if you subscribe to my channel you'll be entered into the next giveaway well you won't be entered into the next giveaway but you will be notified of the next giveaway, but you will be helping me reach 200 subscribers. And once I reach 200 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for two $10 credits for both of my Etsy shops. So one $10 credit for Markets of Sunshine Etsy shop and a uh, $10 credit for the Pioneer Fundraiser Etsy shop. And the description will have both links and you can go check them out and see what goodies that you find there that you might want to use your $10 credit to if you are one of the winners. And generally, I do the giveaways on my blog. So you subscribe here, but then you enter on the blog. So there'll be a link, which is marketsofsunshine.com. You can head on over there, check out my blog. And uh, then I use Raffle Copter on my blog to select the winner. And then you just uh, be, a, be a subscriber and comment on the giveaway video like the video and then um, 
follow my blog and that's it usually for what my rules are to be entered and then anyone can enter doesn't matter where you live because you pay shipping so the ten dollar credit is off of whatever you choose so you can choose anything you want in my Etsy shop and you cannot combine that with any other coupons if I happen to be running a sale at that time then yes you can use that ten dollar credit on any of the items okay so now here we are at the end so you can you just see how I did it so what I do is I do this method I just fish it along you're not going in and out and having to mess with the needle on the other side you just fish it along like this and then when I get to the end then I just come back and then I just go under like you would normally do this is how I do it when I'm gonna tie it off at the end and you go through once and then go through twice and then pull and then I just pull it and use my nail and then just push it down and then I come along snip off the end there I'm gonna tie another knot so that I can do the other side okay get my fingers to have a little bit of moisture there all right that knot's not getting to be thick enough that I want so I'm gonna do another knot okay what is giving me a hard time okay that's a little bit better okay now so then I already took the needle out open it up there you go so now what we do is we're going to come back in here now and we're going to remove the tape off of the one side and I save these they can be reused a number of times before they finally lose all their stickiness. Okay. All right. And then what I do is I open it up and I fold it back onto the dark side so that you don't see that folded over. And then I'll come back with my iron and I will iron that. Okay, so now let me reposition this side here. Okay, and then just getting that even. Pin it back in place. Okay, and then we're going to come in here. And what I do first is just, again, if you missed what I did a minute ago, you just come in here. So you're coming down over here. So this quarter inch on this side is all that you need to worry about. Don't worry about the other side and your tape. If you feel that you're hitting the tape when you're going through with the needle, then just come down a little bit lower and then, but as long as you're on this side that you're in line with that tape, you're good to go. So it'll be quarter inch on both sides. So now like what I was showing to you is I come in here, okay. Let me get up here so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Alright, here we are. Now I've got the needle in. Alright, so now on the back side of it, this is about how much I leave. And then I'm feeling it with my finger. And then you're seeing how I'm going to come up here. Okay. Hope you're seeing all that. See the little pointy needle right there? Okay, then come back in. Right at the edge of that tape. Come back up. And you can do that a number of times, two or three times. Okay, and then now just pull that. Okay, there you go. So then I'm just going to continue that all the way across. Okay. And I, I don't, I probably have maybe like quarter to an eighth of an inch. I mean, I'm not sitting here, I'm not worried in the least about those stitch spacings need to be, you know, precise. You'll drive yourself crazy doing that. Just, ouch. <laughs> and yes, you will impale yourself multiple times. So just keep weaving it in and out. Use your finger, use your thumb. I have a leather, um, thimble somewhere. <laughs> Don't ask me whatever happened to it. 
last time I did my hand sewing. I'm trying to think, when was it? I don't think, oh, you know where? I know where it is. I just, thank you, thank you, brain. First, I had lost this, but I remember where I put that. It was in the basket where I made all the little yo-yos. Remember when we made yo-yos? So I had left it in that basket, and then I'm making my hanky quilt, and I'm doing the embroidery on there, and so that's where the leather thimble is, is on that tray with all my hanky blocks, and um, which is in another room. Usually I sit in the evening and I do this hand stitching on the couch while we watch some kind of a program on the telly. Okay, so let's do here and here, which I sometimes affectionately call the boob tube because it just depends on what's on. <laughs> That's just driving me crazy at the time. Okay, so then just make the little knot again. Trim it off. And again, it doesn't matter. I mean, some people like to have the tail trimmed off real short. Some, it, it bothers. But me, you know, it doesn't really bother me. So, not much bothers me with this stuff. So, anyway. Just like with the crocheting. I mean, I don't worry if my stitches are not all, you know, they're, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at that. I am not, you know, you, it's not like you'll see one that's, a big stitch and then a short stitch or something. I'm pretty good on that. Okay, so here we go now. All right, so now let's flip all this over. And, okay, this one here. So now we're going to do the quilt as you go method. So I just want to show you this first. Okay, so now this is block. Okay, so I will put this together here in a moment too. Okay, so this one needs to come under here so that it's folded in on the dark. Just use my thumbnail. And then this one goes this way so that it's folded in on the dark. And then I will iron that into place. But I have to remove all that tape first. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do, which is this, like I'm saying, this is a, this is a new thing for me. So what I saw somebody do when they quilt as they go is, um, which I'm going to have to straighten this all up here in a moment. I can see that right now. Don't ask me how this block here got to be so out of whack with the others because it was really good. But now that I'm seeing that this one here, I don't know what happened, that this is just not, like if I could line it up here, this is lined up perfectly. But something happened here, and now this is, this is, it would be really short. Let me see what happened. Because I cut all these the same this morning. Okay, four inch. Aha, that one is too big. That's what's wrong. Huh. Phew, scared me there for a minute. I was like, my goodness. Okay, so now, now this is what we're going to do. So we're going to come back, and I'm going to trim these all up to make sure everything is four inch. So good thing this one is because I just stitched him. So it doesn't matter on these outside pieces. Now I can come in. So this is what we're going to do. See, this is why I love that I am, you know, not perfect so that you can see what to do and how to fix your little blocks as well. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. I'm going to flip it over to this side. And uh, my rotary cutter. Slide everything out of the way. Okay. Now I'm going to use my um, mat here. Get it all lined up. So this is one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. Okay, so we're going to bring it over here to the seam allowance. Okay, so I've got it right on the seam allowance. So now we have one, two, three, four. And yes, I can see how far I'm out on that. And then we're going to bring in this right here on the four inch. Yes, okay. And this is how I'm going to lay it so that I know as I am have this lined up with the seam allowance. Let me see if 
I fold it this way on the dark. No, I did it this way. Okay, so this is the right way. And bring it here. Okay, so I am lining it up. You can't see it, but I'm lining it up. Okay, so I need to make sure this is lined up perfectly on here. And it looks like I'm going to have to trim a little bit this way here, too. Let me see what i got here. <sighs> yep, okay. Okay. Leave it to me. Absolutely leave it to me. Okay, but this is good. This is good. So this is your step-by-step. -step. And I have been quilting for quite a long time. But that doesn't mean that we can't all do boo-boos. And other people might do boo-boos off camera that they don't show us. But I, on the other hand, I am not, I don't care. I'm, I want you to see my boo-boos because that's how we all learn, you see. And so... If you if I if I don't show you my mistakes, how will you learn to say, oh wow, wait, let me let me see what that lady did, and then okay, this is what I have to make sure, double check. Okay, so now wait a minute, did I just do did I just do a boo boo? Let me think about this. So when I'm gonna do, oh maybe that's what it is, a quarter inch. No, on the one it's okay, so, but I do need to leave a quarter inch. No, wait. Let me think about this. Okay, so this block is done. Where do I need to leave the quarter inch? So this, see, this is where I get confused. Okay, so this is my top piece. This is my center piece here. Okay, and then this goes here, and then this goes. Wait a minute. Something's not right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Here. Okay. So it's probably because of the way I sewed these together. That's what's 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 throwing me off. So if I would have done like I did here, if I would have put these three, I did together. So if I would have done these three together and then these three together, I would have been good to go. But because I did two at a time, then I messed myself up. Okay. So I have this one here. Okay, so now this line's up here. This line's up here. So I need to trim. I do need to trim this a little bit because that's still... Okay, that's quarter inch. Because I don't need the quarter inch here because I'm going to put binding. So this is this is what I need to look at. Okay, so over here we're at four inches. Okay, and then here... Okay, this one is four inches. We're good on that. Okay, here is four inch, but we've got to have a little bit. i got to leave a little bit there. See, so I have to double check. So I'm going to double check myself. This is where this is not lining up. So what, what's going to happen is when, if I sewed this now here <clears throat> with a quarter inch seam allowance, then that would take up the that excess there okay so let me do that and then we'll we'll do the batting and then the quilting so let me come in here okay all right so now I'm going to flip this side over here and I'm going to sew this row to here. Okay, so if I do that, let me look at this down here now. <clears throat> okay, so then I'm going to sew that here, and then this will flip over here. Okay, so we should be good. So let's, let's give it a whirl, and then we'll find out. So, and if I have to take it apart, that's not a problem either, because this is hand stitching and hand stitching is much easier to take apart than it is when you're on the machine. Okay, so we're going to come in here. First we go all the way through, then we come back. Then we do our little fishing in and out method. Okay. So now I just 
taught myself a valuable lesson on when I'm putting these together, do them in rows of three, and then assemble them together, and it would be much easier. So, it has been a while since I have done hand stitching and a quilting quilt blocks, so this is why I am having these, this is like a refresher course for me. As I'm teaching you, this is the refresher course. Okay, so... All right. It will all come out well in the end. Getting there may be a little bit of a roller coaster, but it all comes out well in the end. So if any of you have dyslexia or ADD, then you understand completely my situation. <laughs> Because with my illness, that's what happens with me. The dyslexia sometimes, and the Lyme, and it's just like, I'm, I think that I'm, I'm getting what I'm doing, and then it's like later on I find out, wait a minute, what did I just do, and why did I do that? Okay, so let's take that out. And then we will rethread that in a minute. Okay, yeah, see? Now I'm happy, oh yes. This is looking much better. Okay, so see. <clears throat> All right, so this seam is lining up here with this seam, and this seam is lining up perfectly with that seam. Okay, so now let's come in here, thread the needle. And I remember, oh, great. Did you just see what I did? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It just went right off the end of the table and down. Okay, so I need to sew this one here. Okay, so let me get enough thread. Oh, that is funny. Funny. I'm telling you, on my channel, you're going to definitely be entertained with all of my mishaps. Okay, so what we're going to do, because we're not going to try to pull all of that thread through. Okay, so let me just get the length that I need. There we go. Oh, stab myself again. Oh, goodness. good at that. I'm always, always stabbing myself with that needle, and those are the sharp ones, and my goodness, I'm surprised. Thank goodness I haven't drawn any blood yet. But it hurts. Okay, so now this needs to come here. Okay, so let me think about this. Give me a minute. Alright, so do I, if I st stitch this on first, <clears throat> or let's see, this has to go here. Okay, so this goes here, and then I fold this down here, and then this will have to come over here. Or if I stitch this on first, <laughs> uh, okay, so if I stitch this on first, then I flip this over, and then this will have to go on here. Okay, so it looks to me at this point of the game that this is going to be, and I'm going to have to line up the two seams under here, which I'm, I'm seeing what I'm doing here, okay. I'm seeing that, so this is, making sure I'm lining this up, and this up. So what I probably should have done was taken this off, but okay, let me, let me try it. Let me try it and see, see if I can do it. Alright, so I just want to get this seam lined up with this seam. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then this over here. Alright, I want to make sure this is here. Okay, so let's... Yeah, as long as these seams here line up, this is the most important part. Okay, yeah, 
these seem to be lining up. All right. Like I said, all we'll know is once we dive in and do it. Don't be afraid of making mistakes when you sew. That's my biggest lesson that I can tell you here from all of this. So then when I fold this over, let me see, where is it? Okay, yeah, okay. Hopefully it will be lined up. I'm just looking at this to see. Okay, so I want it to be here. Let me open up the seam underneath here. Okay, so I'm opening up behind. Okay, so I'm opening up this, so I'm folding the seam over here, so I'm not hitting that seam. Okay. So I'll put this in here. It's the same thing that I'm doing. There's the knot. Come back over here. Make sure these are lined up. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I'm keeping everything straight over here. And like I said, I'll just stitch it and then I'll show you and then we'll see if it lines up. But it's wanting to hit that tape. Let me see. Alright, so let's take this piece of tape off. I don't need that. That is messing me up over here, and it's making me more nervous than I already am, so bear with me. I think what happened is because when I did the first video and I was trying to make the videos this morning and it was like the lighting and I thought everything was just absolutely perfect and then when I watched the video playback it was out of frame so I was so so disappointed. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, when I get to this, these seams here, I'm thinking, okay, alright, I'll show you, I'll show you. Let me show you what I do. This is what I do. So, I don't know, this is how I was taught, and if you have a different way of doing it, then do that. But if this is your first time of doing this, then this is the way I was taught. Okay, so you take the two seams, you open them up. All right, let me stand up again and come over here so you make sure you're seeing me do this. Alright, so when you get to the junction of the two seams, come in with your needle on this side of the seam, okay, and then come through here on the other side of the seam. Alright, so that's all you have to do. Alright, you don't lay it down, you just go straight underneath of it, okay. And then you come back in here, and you continue with your stitches. Okay. Alright, so, let's back down. And let me see how much time we're at. Oh, goodness, is that 29 minutes already? Yes, okay, so this is, I'm going to have to end the video here, because I can only do 30 minutes, and then in step two, uh, part two video, so this is part one, then I will show you, I'll finish this up, and I'll show you how everything lined up, and what I had to do to get it lined up, and then, um, 
we will put the batting on the back of it and we'll start doing the hand quilting. So that'll be part two. So please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a sunshine day. Bye-bye.